Asada is quintessentially Mexican. And what I love most about it is it's so simple to make and it's a crowd pleaser. I'm gonna show you my recipe using skirt steak, some charred spring onions, avocado, and it's all wrapped up in a delicious corn tortilla. For the salsa, you'll need about one bunch of spring onions and I'm just going to oil them, salt them and pepper them. Make sure they're completely covered in that oil. And I've been preheating a grill. You want this to be piping hot because you want nice char marks on the spring onions. That's looking good, so let's turn them and cook them for a little longer. Okay, now that they're softened and charred, we'll take them out of the pan and just let them rest for a moment while we get onto the steak. Now, this is skirt steak. It's very traditional to use skirt steak for an asada. And I'm gonna keep it really simple, not marinate it in too much. I'm going to add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, some salt, and some whole coriander seeds that I've crushed, and pepper. And in the same pan as the spring onions, we're going to cook this for about three to four minutes on each side, depending on how you like it. Personally, I like mine to be medium rare. Now the key to a juicy steak is allowing it to rest. So just pop this to one side and we'll get on with the salsa. And chop up the charred spring onions, pop them into the bowl, I'll also add one jalapeno that I've finely diced, the zest and juice of one lime, salt and pepper, a little pinch of paprika, and to bring the whole thing together, some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. And give that a really good mix. And let's get on to our tortillas. For the corn tortillas, we need to cook them on a medium heat. So these are street tacos. I love this size. They're just perfect for the asada. So once they get just a light little colour, we're going to turn them over. And to keep them warm, I have a clean tea towel on standby. Pop them in. They'll also steam so they're really pliable. This meat has rested, so I'm going to slice against the grain. And I like this to be nice and thin. Look at that, perfectly cooked, so juicy. I'll arrange my corn tacos onto a platter and just arrange a few pieces of the steak and a generous tablespoon of our green salsa. Just to finish it off, a sprinkle of smoked paprika and always a little pinch of salt. That is the taste of Mexico. Mmm. Mmm. Yummo. 